as a 25 year old, I gave him $300. What do you think? Uh, well, with that, uh, sometimes it'll go up. Sometimes it'll go down. If he's or she is about their business, then they have to bring it down sometimes. <laughs> Hey everybody, family, congregation, we are mm -hmm. back. We are back. Kane yes, we and are. Mitch. Yes, we are. Yes. Hey, we finna shoot right to it. We gotta get right to it right now. And congregation, family, today we're gonna start something and uh it's gonna be Financial Fridays with Kane. And he's finna about to walk us through a budget, storing your budget going from the job, the location, he's going to feed us, congregation. So, Kane, I want you to take it away, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right. So, I want to, with this um, Financial Friday, I actually want to make it uh, helpful for our community, you know, our subscribers and for the, our viewers too as well, just to kind of get an uh, insight on, you know, uh, how to begin their journey. And I want to start off with a... Um, a uh, 25 year old right so i want to want to start with a you know somebody that's doesn't have but a high school education they're single 25 and they live in dallas texas right so the information i'm gonna um give you are examples of you know if you were living in dallas texas and how you know you can maneuver with that particular uh income okay I want to start first with um, this website. This website I really love, and I'm going to tell you why. It's called Smart Asset. Now, Smart Asset is a website that gives you a roundabout what would you be taking home as far as an income. You know, a lot of times they say, oh, I'm trying to get $25, i am trying to get $30 an hour, $20 an hour, whatever yes. it is. Yeah. So this website you put in the hourly wage or the salary if it's a salary position, but you put the hourly wage in and it will calculate how many, how, how much uh, state tax will be taken out and how much federal tax will be taken out. And you can also add other things such as your 401k and things of that nature if you want to add that in there. And you will actually know what you're working with when it comes to income that's coming in. So if you scroll down a little bit on this website, and I'll have it in the description too as well. But if you scroll down, you get the opportunity. But this particular uh, John Doe that we're talking about this in Dallas, Texas, 25, he has an hourly wage of $20 an hour. Okay. He stays in Dallas, Texas. Um, and you see where it says pay frequency? If you change that that uh, that tab there, it, you can change it to bi-weekly. And normally you get paid every other week in, in most jobs. So yes. you can change that and it'll update what you will actually be getting, you know, as far as in your take home pay. If you look at that, you see how it says twelve nine ninety four. That that would be his take home pay. Now, if you scroll down just a little bit, you can actually see, you know, gross what he makes, the taxes that are taken out, and it's all about that particular area. So you can put your state, your city, and how much you know taxes are going to be taken out. So it, it, it's very interesting. How, how do you feel about that, Mitch? You, is it is that? it? My, I haven't tried that, but mm -hmm. is it that easy? It's going to automatically. So you're saying. It's going to automatically take out the taxes and everything. Yeah, yeah. You can see exactly how much FICA is taken out, how much the taxes are taken out. And if you hit details, it'll tell you, you know, a little bit more about which taxes are taken out. And then on the left-hand side, mm -hmm. uh, if you um, if you look down on that side over there, you can put the deductions that, you know, different types of deductions, you know. And you just you click on it, and you can add whatever deductions you want to add on there. And it, it gives you so you'll know what you're really working with. You know, okay. you actually so, know what you're working with when it comes to trying to figure out if this job will work for you. So, Kane, that, that 12 uh, 94, I believe that's what it was. Mm -hmm. So that's what he has to work with. He or she mm -hmm. has to work with as far as every other week, every other week as far as housing, all of that. Yes. That's yes. Okay. Yes. 12. Oh, this, this brilliant. Then. Yeah. 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 This is exactly what they're making now. Um since and i'm like i said i'm gonna put that in the description too as well okay. so um i want to go to this 20 dollar an hour job so we're trying to figure out well if he's working uh uh 20 getting 20 dollars an hour what kind of job is he doing he's 25 years old what kind of skills do we have 
well, this is an entry level job. So if this um, Amazon, uh, I want to show you this Amazon position, and mm -hmm. this is there right there that's hiring in Dallas, in Dallas, uh, uh, Texas, as we speak uh, to this day, that 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 you have, um, it's called a hold on, a fulfillment center warehouse associate. You're just fulfilling orders for Amazon. So and Kane, it started, I'm it started twenty dollars there in Dallas. Go ahead. This is actual right now. So you get job opportunities right now. Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. And you can not, this is just a, just a website that I, I found some uh, okay. opportunities out there, but you know, you can go to Indeed and things of that nature to find different positions and, and, and look at it like that. Now, now that we have the, we have, we know how much money, right? We know how much money we need to make yeah. or whatever. We need to know where we're going to actually live. Mm -hmm. Now, the, uh, a good, um, and you're just starting out. This is just 25 year old. He got the job. He needs to know where he needs to stay. Uh, what's affordable? What's in his range? That's so I would think about between 900 to a thousand dollars a month will be feasible for a one bedroom apartment in Dallas. So I want to bring up this next uh, website, apartments.com. And on apartments.com, uh, John Doe, he can go in and, and make the adjustments of how much he wants to pay or how much he can afford to pay uh, on a monthly basis. Now, this is just in the Dallas area, but just randomly, you know, selecting, you know, the different apartments that they have that are available. And they're just one bedroom. And that uh, that's all he really needs. Does he need two bedroom? Do, I mean, do you really need that? But you, you're looking at the area because you want to make sure that, you know, it's in a nice area. So if you're from Dallas and you know the areas, you know which one to kind of pick from or whatever. Right. Safe. Safety is the going to be yeah. the first concern. Yeah. Safety. And then what's another thing that uh, a lot of people uh, tend to look at when it comes to their job? How far is from the job? <laughs> exactly. We want to know how far exactly. we have to travel. Yes. 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 Because you don't know if you're. Um, you know, if you have a car, if you don't have a car, if you got to use public transportation, however the case may be. So you want to make sure that you find a, a place that's within your budget. And that's exactly what we're going to get to is looking at a budget for this 25 year old in um, Dallas, Texas. So and, and you, you can go on anytime. We'll have the link in the description for apartments.com. But that's just an idea where you can kind of see where, you know, different apartments in your area and you can try to figure out what's affordable for you. You can, you know, narrow it down to your price range too. Well, and Kane, one thing I like about this, or I'm looking at this right here, mm -hmm. uh, it's saying that, uh, you know, you're looking through these apartments, they have a fitness center, meaning it could be a small gym. Okay. Mm -hmm. We could take that out the budget, having a membership somewhere else, paying so much money where if you find an apartment complex that has a nice little gym in there, Hey, that might be some savings too. So that's only makes sense makes sense to me okay. like, take advantage of the opportunities if you're going to pay for an apartment uh you want to look at the amenities too you know yes you want to make yes. sure that it's conducive to you and your lifestyle and yes. what you want to do you know what i mean so it, it works for me it works for me definitely all right well um i want to move straight into the budget now now that we know we went to we went to smart asset right we know how much we need to make and how much we're going to get paid because remember in your budget is everything that you're taking home this monthly budget and i'll have a link for it a link for it in the description too it's uh, uh it's through etsy so you can click on it if you like this one or if you see any other ones you can uh you can actually click on it and you can have a um, your own copy so you can do it for yourself but it's very it's very basic. It's very straight to the point when it comes to uh, your budget. Okay. You have your income, you have your expenses, you have any investments, uh, any savings that you may have, and then property value. If you don't have any property, and you're, this 25 year old doesn't have any property, so you see that's zero. Right. So this is how I came up with the income. You see where it says Amazon and income, and that's how much he's making per um, month? Yes, you got it. This is a monthly budget, right? So. If he's uh, getting paid, the, the way I came up with that, I did the uh, the numbers. What was it? 12, 12, 94, 94, 94, yeah, 12, 94. So that 12, 94, that 12, 94, I multiply it by 26. Why did I do that? I multiply by 26 because that's how many uh, pay periods are in a year. Right. 
Once I got that number, whatever that number is, then I divide it by 12. Mm -hmm. That's roughly what you'll be making per month. Take home pay. Remember, we're doing, we're not, we already did taxes. Taxes, yes. everything's been taken out. Now, this is what you're going to receive in your bank account. So, this is how much um, he will receive, John Doe. He'll receive 2803 every month. All right. So, now I want to look at some of the expenses he may occur, you know, okay. as he, you know, in his new apartment now. So, you have the rent. I said nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. They had they range from eight 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 hundred to twelve hundred. Right. So I just kind of find one in the middle that's you know that's doable. So nine hundred dollars in rent. Three hundred dollars groceries. Do you think that's feasible for a twenty five year old? Three hundred dollars in groceries for that month. Just with, all he's all he's. Remember, this is a single person. They don't have any kids yeah. or anything. It's just him. That's feasible. Yes, that's feasible. Let's keep okay. it. Let's keep okay. it moving. Uh huh. Okay. Cell cell phone. So um, the cell phone seventy five. That's because you know the the youth they like to have the unlimited plan. So that's seventy five dollars with uh, Verizon. That's unlimited everything, right? You got car insurance because he actually has a car. Car insurance roughly get you a used car. Have a used car, not no brand new car. <laughs> if he <Not> did, <laughs> he better get the uh, general because uh, seventy dollars that might be cheap for the insurance. <laughs> that might be on the cheap front. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, like I said, it, that that can be just liability because you got a used car. You okay, see what I'm gotcha. saying? Yeah, yeah. All right. So um, we, as we're moving down, we got the uh, car insurance, and what we have the electricity bill. Yes. About $80. I'll say about $80. Yeah, and and this, remember, this whole budget is for your month. These are your monthly expenses. Remember that. Monthly expenses. So I say about $80. I did a little research on Dallas area and their electricity. And it, I used to live in, da and not Dallas, but in Texas. And the electricity was ridiculous up there. But I'm, I'm you know, um, I want to make this, you know, as real as, as, as we can. You know what I mean? So you have yeah. the water bill which is 45 you have the internet uh that's what verizon right now they got a deal going for 50 dollars of basic internet you don't need any you know what i mean like do you need yeah. high speed whatever you know right um entertainment as a 25 year old i gave him 300 dollars. what do you think uh well with that uh sometimes it'll go up sometimes it'll go down if he's or she is about their business then they have to bring it down sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that might be going out uh, twice a month. That's mm -hmm. it to keep that cost mm -hmm. down. And you have to find some things that's especially, let's just say this came because he's single, she's single dates. What are we going to do? Are we making enough money to date? Well, um, I can better answer that question. If we start, mm -hmm. you know, looking at what we actually our actual expenses, because remember, I, I'm giving you all the the actual expenses. Now, yes, they can be adjusted. Some of those can be, not yes. all. You know, the rent is the rent. You know what I'm saying? But some of those right. things can be adjusted, and I'm gonna tell you how, or whatever. And then you can say, okay, do I have a little extra money to go on that date? You know what I'm saying? As my dad would say, I need you to paint the picture. Keep all going. right. Um, so I said three hundred dollars for entertainment, and then we have um, eating out. Uh, a lot of times, the youngsters like to go out and eat out all the time, or whatever. So two hundred dollars. Uh, the car note that's for that that actual for that car insurance. And I was thinking about three hundred dollars. That's a used car. If they're gonna uh, buy a used car, or if they had cash, they can actually do that. But if they don't have that cash on them, then I say about three hundred dollars for a used car. Um. And the gas, I said about a hundred dollars in this used car. Well, I take it up maybe fifty. One hundred fifty. Yeah, I think it's one hundred fifty for gas. You know, gas. The, the 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 price of the at the pump is 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 it's crazy right now. So that that probably would go up. A little so bit. if you're saying if you're saying a hundred and fifty dollars a month, then that's seventy five dollars yeah, at least. That's seventy five dollars every pay period. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Thirty five dollars. It could go up, yes, huh. because you know we know how the price would be three thirty nine, and then it might be almost four dollars. Mm -hmm. 
So I mean, it's flux rate. Okay, okay. Now, mind you, so this ain't no SUV we riding around in. This ain't no big gas guzzler. Okay. We got to make sure okay. that we get okay. the right person. You know. All right. And, and, yes. if, and if okay. he's doing, you know, uh, forty hours a week, I mean, how much driving is he doing? Other than going to work and coming home, and you know what I mean. He ain't going on road trips like that. He's not driving like you know what I mean. It'll just be that commute right. to work and back for the most part, right? That's where you get most of it. Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. So now, uh, and we can go to the other side too as far as investments, but I, I really want to stick on the expenses. So if you scroll down just a little bit, you can kind of see what the totals are. All right. So total income for that month, 2803. Total expenses, 2420. Mm. So that means you only have a cash flow of. 323 that means that's at the end of the month that's all you got that's all you got so what i what i would go ahead it's tight that's tight, I know it's tight. keep going but that's very yeah, tight yeah so basically that cash flow is what you have that you can place into savings or into investments right now and, right. and i'm gonna show you how we can have more of that money too as well so if you look over there in the total investment scroll up just a little if you look over there in the total total investments, I you know had the M1 Finance and Acorns. Those are investment opportunities that you can actually do, and I'll have that in the description too as well. And you can kind of read up on it and kind of get an idea of those different platforms. But right, that's just sixty dollars a month right there. That's just sixty dollars he's investing. That's including. I mean, if you if you're looking at the uh, actual spreadsheet, we didn't take that out. So that three twenty three is is already taken out for that investment. That you're doing remember this guy is just starting out we'll build up on it okay. now this is one of the things i want to ask you when it comes to the expenses where do you see things that can be reduced eating out we'll have to cut down on eating out um and we can change it right here in front of us let's do it let's do it eating out to what if he's not doing 200 what what can he be doing I want to go down to one hundred dollars. I say eighty because that I just not, we need to have more cash flow. Okay. All right. I say eighty dollars. We have yeah. to cook. Okay. We have to cook. Okay. We have to. And cook. we'll give we'll give him uh, one fifty in gas because you say it goes up. So we'll do one fifty. Yeah. What um what other things can be reduced on here? Let's let's minimize some of that entertainment cost. To what? You got to give me something. I will give you from 300. I will go. I want to say 150, but I go 180. And then time. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Now, uh, anything else? What else could we do? No. Okay. Because we're going to have to use the car mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, to get it. around, yeah. to do the things that we okay. need to do. So. Well, I can see a few things that, that can be done with the expenses, right? Okay. So one thing, yes. one thing that cell phone bill doesn't have to be $75. Talk cell phone, me. you can get you a prepaid SIM card and get you a, a phone, place that prepaid in there, and you're paying $25 to $30 a month. That's money in your pocket. Is that done? Will I be able yeah, to get on, get the, on internet? the internet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's okay. let's change that to 30 Okay, sound we'll, we'll, good. We'll give it forty. We'll give it forty. They want to go with uh, Boost Mobile or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, shout out. <laughs> hey, uh, all right, so so that can be changed. All right, look at that rent. Can that rent be changed? Well, we already picked. We we done signed the contract, yeah. right? What? Unless we unless you do what? It depends on depends on the security and safety that you want to provide. You want to stay in a okay. safe place. Other than that. I, we did see places on there that was like eight fifty, eight seventy five. Other than, that, other than, so other than big... changing a place, other than you picking a reduced rent place, don't you think it's an opportunity for you to, um, if you're starting off, especially if you're young, having a roommate? Oh, yeah. roommate, yeah, having a roommate. you can split that yeah, into four fifty. Okay. You can split that into four fifty, and you don't even need a second job. Let's say you you you, you split that to 450. Y'all pay 450 a piece. Now look at the cash flow. That's fine. Almost a thousand dollars. Okay. 
That's an, that looks that? good. You see how you can still you can have a thousand dollars in your yes. pocket to do whatever you want to do with after spending bills, paying for your bills. I should I say? You see what I'm saying? A lot of people think that just because I don't I don't have that particular dollar figure, that dollar figure is where I, where I'm missing. But if you work hard and you this guy here, he can move up in the job, get a little bit more money. Yes, that can happen. Yes. Or he can modify his skills within his job and find another job that will pay him more money. You could do that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't don't limit yourself. There are plenty of opportunities to change and to make an adjustments when it comes to your budget. And like I said, all these things will be in the description. And I, I really would like for you guys to just take a step back and look at what you're doing. Anybody at any age can actually utilize this tool. Anybody. Yes. Anybody. Thank but you, you want to make sure that you are you have all the necessary income and expenses and you have to be legit. You have to be straight up with yourself. And don't leave anything out. And I guarantee you, you'll be fine. Yeah. I guarantee it. Anything? Any other questions, Man. Mitch? Before we go, uh, we're going to no, get out of here. We're going to get out of here. We're going to wrap it up. But uh, can they just give a little hand clap? Because I really enjoyed that episode. Congregation, I hope you did too. Okay? I almost want to take up an offering <laughs> right now. But okay. We should have put ties <laughs> on there. On there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Won't he do it? <laughs> Until right. next time, I'll give you some more tips. I got I got a bag of tricks. I'll holler at y'all later. It's the uncomfortable truth. Roger that. Out. <laughs>